The Great Norfolk Pub Guide, in association with Lakens. It's about time. Okay, I'm stood right above the River Wensum in front of our next Great Norfolk Pub. And I've been told it's where dozens of canaries flock to on a Norwich City match day. I wonder if they'll recognise me. Fancy seeing you here, Jake Watson, Pink and Show producer. Well, I'll start going to have a little chat with the uh, landlord yeah. to find out about the history of the ribs of beef. What are you going to get up to? I'm going to speak to some of the people in here. Uh, so at the remake of the pub, and I might even ask them a question about you as well. Why me? We'll find out. So, first of all, you're a regular down here at the ribs of beef. What is the best thing about this pub? What's your favourite thing about it? Well, at the end of the day, we, we, we wander from pub to pub, and you, you walk in here as warm, as friendly, you're always made to feel welcome. The worst thing about this pub, if you had to pick one thing. If I had to pick one, that's only really mine. Yeah. They don't serve strongbow. <laughs> but they serve strongbow. Perfect. Well, there you go. Um, laugh at my no means least. You've seen a little diminutive man over there. He used to play for Norwich City, Darren Eady. True legend, yes. But I was going to say, what do you make of him? I oh, just true legend. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? You could do with him. I'd like to give him a place three o'clock this <laughs> afternoon. Be fair, mate. Uh, his knees wouldn't hack it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've been working here for four years. Um, I'm a student at UEA and um, I love it here. It's always my first point of call um, whenever I'm going out on a night out. Best thing about the ribs of beef, I would have to say, is the locals. They're really, really good fun. Um, there's always someone here that you can chat to, have a good laugh with. Um, so yeah, I do. I love coming into work, so it's kind of a bonus. That's why I've been here for so long. We can see on the walls as you come in through this pub, the obvious part, we've got the bar. Very simple there. A little bit of potted history on the building of the place here. It was called 24 Wensum Street. It was originally a house, lots of people lived here. And there's been a building here since the 14th century. But in 1743, it was then changed to the Ribs of Beef to be an ale house. So plenty of history on the walls, you'll have a look round. Picture of a Norwich City Legends team as well. So unfortunately, for some reason, I'm not on there. Yes. Any food? Yes. Good, you're right, good. Leads on to the balcony. The decking area right in front of the River Wensum. It's raining a little bit outside. Are you coming out? No? <laughs> okay. And the owner of the pub, Roger, invented the duck race of Norwich, which I'm sure most people know about, which travels through here underneath these bridges. But on a little bit more of a sinister note, this bridge just here is where they used to dunk witches. Now, apparently, it was said if you drowned, you weren't a witch. But if you didn't drown, you were a witch and then you were burnt. So take your pick. Anyway, I'm off to meet John now. He's going to show me around the, uh, the brew house they've got here and what beers they've got involved. Wow. If you had smell vision it smells like a, like a brew house. It smells yeah. like a proper old-fashioned pub. The clientele you have here, this is a, obviously a Norwich City match day, so you get a lot of Norwich fans come in here. We here it seems very more family-orientated. Yeah, it's more family-orientated, slightly older customer as well. You've sort of seen it, done it. Um, and yeah, it's usually quite a nice sort of relaxed build up to, to the game in here. People come in for a bit of food as well, it's not just drink. Well, we're going to go upstairs now, we're going to do your six of the best, so I hope you prepared your answers. Of course. You might have an idea. I'll get on with that. Okay, John, I'll pull the pint. You answer the questions, yep. right? Let's do six of the best. Are you ready? Number one. What's the best time to visit your pub? Saturdays pre-football, um, Sundays for live music, and any other time you just fancy a drink. What's the best memory you have of your pub? Um, I've only been here five months, but the best one was a carol service, uh, Japortras, um, sing along, the pub is absolutely packed. What's the best pint you serve? Um, the one you're pouring right there at the moment. What's the best dish on your menu? Best dish, my personal one, is um, fish and chips. We basically do it to order, run across the road to the local fishmongers, and um, so it's always fresh out. What's the best hangover cure known to man? Um, one of our famous scotch eggs and any drinking one. I have finished my pint, which is pretty poor, I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that as bad as it gets? <laughs> it's pretty bad, yes. <laughs> is it? Okay, I'll ask you the last question anyway. What is the best pub in Norfolk apart from yours? Uh, my personal favourite at the moment is just around the road is uh, the Plasters Arms. Lovely. Thanks for your time, John. Cheers. Thanks for having me in. Thank you. Working hard again. See you, Jake. Huh? As always. Well, that's the ribs of beef done. Time to get ourselves down to Carrow Road for the match. Let's do it. So put your beer down, put your nips down. I'll finish it first. No. The Great Norfolk Pub Guide, 
in association with Lakens. It's about time.